हेलो गाइस सो आई एम हियर विद अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड दैट इज द विजुअल एक्विटी बाय द स्नेल चार्ट आई हैव रिसीव्ड अनलिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ डीलिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ अ क्वेश्चन बिकॉज यू नो थ्री टाइम्स इन प्रीवियस ईयर्स एग्जामिनेशन पी जी एम एग्जामिनेशन सच क्वेश्चन वर आस्ड एंड यू नो देर इज some amount of confusion regarding these questions when it is minimum angle of resolution when it is per se related to the distance of the visual acuity so let's clear it so i will be taking a question so that at the end you are able to solve this question and you are done with it what is the angle subtended by the topmost letter of the snellens chart at a distance of 6 meter your options are 5 minutes 20 minutes 50 minutes and 30 minutes now the most important thing which is actually the catch point of this question you have to see at how much distance they are asking and if they have not mentioned this distance your answer will also change so this is very very important point you have to see that which letter they are asking and at how much distance they are asking now let us see what is snellens chart see this is your snellens chart which is there on the vision box i think most of you have uh, experienced this you people are made to um, read this vision box from the topmost letter and going towards the uh, minimum line now ideally when we are talking about this snellens chart right when i am talking about this nellens chart the patient should be standing at a distance of 6 meters this is the ideal one but you know practically it is very very difficult to keep your room size so large uh, especially in today's era when the land is so costly so <coughs> keeping the opd so much large that you are having a distance of 6 meters so what we are doing practically we are taking a distance of 3 meters and then we are using a mirror so 3 meters is your real distance and then 3 meters we are using the fictional distance and ultimately it is 6 meters so anyhow the patient is standing at a distance of 6 meters from this nellens chart and he has to actually read the line starting from this topmost one topmost he is starting and then he has to go lower lower down so it is in this order so when he is reading these lines what is his visual acuity so when he reads this topmost line his visual acuity is 6 by 60 when he is reading the second line then his visual acuity is 6 by 36 when he is reading the third line his visual acuity is 6 by 24 when he is reading this fourth line his visual acuity is 6 by 18 when he is reading the next line his visual acuity is 6 by 12 when he is reading this line his visual acuity is 6 by 9 and finally if he is reading this this is 6 by 6 so normal visual acuity is 6 by 6 most of the times they also have an extra line that is giving you 6 by 5 so basically we are not concerned about that we are focusing here from 6 by 60 to 6 by 6 now the first important thing is that the patient has to stand at a distance of 6 meters in india we take this distance in meters so it is 6 meters if you take uh, in us in us they actually take it in foot so it is 20 foot there it is in 20 foot now let us start with the topmost letter if the patient is reading this topmost letter his visual acuity is 6 by 
So, what is actually the meaning of this 6 by 60? What is the meaning of this numerator and what is the meaning of this denominator? The numerator 6 means the distance of the patient from the chart. So, that is very clear cut 6 meters. So, I can say it is 6 or in US we take it as 20 foot. So, there I will say 20. Right. So, here what we say 6 by 60 is there 20 by 200 that is same. Right. Now, what is the meaning of this 60? 60 means the distance, distance from which normal person, normal person can see this letter. Normal person can see this letter. That means a normal. Normal in what terms? Normal in refraction. So, a person who does not have any refractive error, who does not have any diminution of vision, can see this letter from a distance of 60 meters while this person is seeing from 6 meters. So, his visual acuity is 6 by 60. Similarly, if I talk about the second letter, this is your 6 by 36. So, this 6 is again the distance of the person from the chart and 36 means the distance from which this person can, a normal person can read this letter. So, a normal person can read this letter from 36 meters and this person from 6 meters. Similarly, 6 by 24. So, standing at a distance of 6 meters, he is reading, the patient is reading this letter, but a normal person, if I talk about the normal person, he will read from 24 meters. Similarly, this person is reading from 6 meters, normal person will read the 6 by 18 line from 18 meters. This line normal person can see from 12 meters. This line normal person can see from 9 meters. And finally, this line a normal person can see from 6 meters. So, if the patient is able to read this line, his visual acuity will be how much? His visual acuity will be 6 by 6. He is standing at a distance of 6 meter reading that letter which a normal person will also read from 6 meters and that is why his visual acuity is normal. So, this is 6 by 6 or 20 by 20. This can also be called as 20 by 20. So, when I say 6 by 6 or if I say 20 by 20, it is one and the same thing. Normal vision in meters or the normal vision in foot. That is exactly the same. Now, second important thing, why actually this happens? Why a normal person can read this letter from large distances, from 60 meters, from 36 meters, from 24 meters, from 18 meters, 12 meters, 9 meters and 6 meters, but this person is able to read it only from 6 meters and maybe not even from 6 meters because he has lesser minimum angle of resolution. So, he is not able to make that minimum angle of resolution that is actually required. So, I will talk about this minimum angle of resolution which is actually the concept behind the visual acuity in the Snellens chart. But suppose a question comes to you that a patient has a visual acuity of 6 by 24. This was the question that was asked in DNB paper 2018. They said that a patient comes to you having a visual equity of 6 by 24. So, from how much distance a normal person can read this letter? 
So now this is very very clear. A normal person can read this letter from 24 meters, but this person is seeing from 6 meters, and that is why his visual acuity is 6 by 24. Is this very very clear? Okay. Now suppose this patient is not able to read even this topmost letter. His visual acuity is so less that he is not able to read even this topmost line 6 by 60. Then what should be done? Now let's see how to take the visual acuity when the vision is even less than 6 by 60. So you know that 6 by 60 to 6 by 6 this is there. So this is not there and therefore now how to proceed further. So this patient was standing at a distance of 6 meters and he was not able to read even the topmost letter. So what can I do? I can decrease this distance. So I can decrease this 1 by 1 and because we are taking this distance in meters, you will decrease this distance 1 by 1 meter. So now you will make him stand at 5 meters. So now if he is able to read this letter, his visual equity will be 5 by 60. Then if he is not able to read even here, then take him to 4 meters. So that becomes 4 by 60. Similarly, 3 meters, 3 by 60, then 2 meters, 2 by 60. And then 1 meter is 1 by 60. So if he is standing just at 1 meter in front of this Nellens chart and even then he is not able to read this, then you cannot use this Snellens chart. You cannot use this Snellens chart to take the visual equity. Why? Because the minimum distance you can take in the Snellens chart is the 1 meter. Here the distance is taken in meters. So the minimum distance at which the patient can stand while taking the visual acuity by the Snellens chart is 1 meter. So if the patient is not able to see even from 1 meter, I cannot use the Snellens chart. So what next? So now I can come up to counting fingers. Start showing the fingers to the patient. Counting fingers. So counting fingers you have to see. Counting three fingers or two fingers, one finger. So we are standing at one meter distance only and you are showing the fingers. So you will have to uh, document it whether the patient is able to count three fingers, two fingers, one finger and then you have to come finger counting close to face. If he is not able to see the fingers or not able to count the fingers and one meter you have to come close to the face. Then you have to switch on to finger counting close to face. Then even if that is not there, then we have to go to the hand moment. And when hand moment is also not there, then you have to go to the perception of the light. Then you have to go the Go to the perception of the light. You have to show the torch light and you have to see whether patient is appreciating or not. Now suppose PL is not there. Then I will say that he is PL negative. But if he is PL positive, if he is PL positive, then I will have to see the PR. PR projection of the rays. Projection of the rays has to be taken in four separate quadrants. Superior, inferior, nasal, temporal. So at that time in order to get a clue what kind of vision loss he is having, what are the quadrants which are affected, you will monitor the PR. If it is present, write plus. If it is negative, then you will write minus. So that is actually the total way of taking the visual equity. Are you getting this? This is the total way of measuring the visual equity. Now we are talking about the Snellens chart. 
So, I was saying that how we can know that the topmost letter will be read by the normal person from 60 meters, next letter from 36 meter. Why is it so? So, let us see that. So, there are two things here. One is your one minute of the arc and second thing is the five minutes of the arc. So, for this you should know what is called as minimum angle of resolution. You should know the concept of minimum angle of resolution. Now, suppose I take this letter E. Okay. So, what do you require to see this letter E? I should be able to see three limbs. This also, this also and this also. Then only I am able to see this total letter E. That means I should be able to see separately this. Separately this and separately this. Now, in order to see one single limb of the letter, what should be the angle substanded at my nodal point? What is nodal point? That is the center of the lens. So, for this, the angle substanded at the nodal point is actually one minute of the arc. For this, in order to see this one limb, what is the angle substanded? one minute of the arc okay now if i want to see the second limb again one minute if i want to see this third limb again one minute now i have the gaps also so i will have to see these gaps also so this also one minute and this also one minute so how much it is now one two three and two gaps so total becomes five minutes of the arc so, now are you getting, we have got two concepts, in order to see just the one limb, I require the minimum angle one minute, but in order to see this whole letter, how many minutes do I require? Five minutes. So, that means, if I want to see this total letter, okay, so what should be the angle substanded by this point and this point. So, what should be the angle substanded between this and this? It should be minimum 5 minutes of the arc. So, now how it is coming 5 minutes? See, what happens if you see for the one single, for the one single limb you have 1 minute. So, 1 minute for this, 1 minute for this and 1 minute for this three minutes here then one minute for this also and one minute for this also so this total becomes five minutes of the arc now for this how do we create that letters so for that see this each letter is created in such a way that it is fitting a square having five times the length and breadth of the limb. So, if I have this as one limb, so this is one, so this is two, are you able to see this color? Two, this is three, this is four and this becomes five. So, this becoming five times, here also one, two, three, four and five. So, one limb is forming this one minute, each square, one square is forming one minute, so, you are getting 5 times this square. So, that letter is fitting in a square having 5 times the width. So, in order to see those letters, I require 5 minutes of the arc. This is called as minimum angle of resolution and this is how the visual equity in the Snellens chart is based on the minimum resolvable visual equity. Now, if you concentrate on these alphabets, each of the letter is actually fitting in such square. Each of these letter is fitting in these square which is 5 times. So, what do I want to say from this? What I want to say here is that each letter, each letter makes the angle of 5 minutes of the arc. Each letter will make an angle of 5 minutes of the arc at its respective 
distance. The most important thing is that each letter is making this angle of 5 minutes but at its respective distance. So what I want to say from here, respective distance means that if I am talking about the letter which is topmost, so this will make an angle of 5 minutes at 60 meters while this will make an angle of 5 minutes at 36 meters. Next will make an angle, same angle at 24 meters, 5 minutes. Next will make same angle at 18 meters. Then this at 12 meters, this at 9 meters, this at 6 meters. So now when they are asking me that what will be the angle substantiated by this topmost letter at 6 meters. This was our question. What is the angle substantiated by the topmost letter at a distance of 6 meters? Now, for solving such kind of questions, I will advise you one thing. Always first write what you know. You know that it will make an angle of 5 minutes of the arc at 60 meters. Suppose the value that you have to calculate is x. Okay, x is the value that you have to calculate and they are asking at 6 meter, right. Now, if you see the angle which is made, see here, the angle which is made at a distance of 60 meter and the angle which will be made at an distance of 6 meter, what is the comparison? Can you see angle will become larger, larger and larger as you go close to the letter. So, as the distance decreases, angle will increase. So, let us see how much it will increase. As the distance will decrease, angle will increase. So, how much is distance decreasing? From 60 meters, it is going to 6 meters. So, 10 times decrease. When the distance is decreasing by 10 times, when the distance is decreasing 10 times, how much this angle will increase? Increase by 10 times. So, angle will also increase by 10 times. So, the answer will be 50 minutes of the arc. So, this is how you get the answer to this question. It is 50 minutes of the arc. Now, let us suppose they have not given you 6 meters and they just said the angle substandard by the topmost letter in the Snellen's chart. Then what is your answer? Then if they are not mentioning 6 meters, your answer will be simply 5 minutes. Because when they are not mentioning the distance, you will take it for granted that they are asking at its respective distance. This is one way of asking. Second important thing, suppose they ask you the second letter, second letter, the topmost letter we have seen 6 by 60, if they say what is angle substantiated by the letter 6 by 36 at 6 meters. So how to solve such question? Again write what you know, it is making an angle of 5 minute at 36 meter and what they are asking, they are asking at 6 meter. So, how much distance is decreasing? The distance that is decreasing is 6 times. So, how much angle will increase? Therefore, this will increase by 6 times. So, answer will be 30 minutes. Are you getting how to calculate this? Let us take one more example. If I talk about 6 by 24. So, what is the angle substantiated by this letter at 6 meter? So, this is making an angle of 5 minutes at 24 meter and they are asking at 6 meter. How much distance is decreasing? The distance is decreasing by 4 times. So, how much angle will increase? Therefore, this will increase by 4 times. So, answer will be 20 minutes. So, I hope now you are very clear about the Snellen's chart. What are the concepts? How to take the total visual equity? 
how to uh, decode the visual acuity in the Snellen's chart and what is the concept of minimum angle of resolution and based on these concepts you can easily solve such numericals which are frequently being asked in the PGME exams. Thank you and happy of Thalmology.